protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com And flying kites are just being high as a kite. We see that a town's water supply has been spiked with THC. And this is in Colorado. And they say THC is the main chemical in marijuana. And there are signs that someone may have deliberately put it there. You think? Uh, everyone in the town of Hugo and on the Eastern Plains has been warned not to drink the water. I wonder how many people will heed that warning. It was a company performing a routine employee drug test that first alerted law enforcement to the problem on Thursday. Own, unknown levels of THC present, uh, present in Hugo's water supply. So uh, basically somebody spiked it with THC, how they did it, why they did it, I don't really know. But in a state like Colorado, I guess it was just a matter of time before somebody uh, tried this type of deal. Uh, there's many different ways you can get high off THC or marijuana without drugging other people. If you choose to get high, get high yourself. Don't force it upon other people, whoever may have uh, pulled this. Uh, I don't know if stunt is the proper word for it. Now, somebody who's pulling a major stunt by coming after your Second Amendment rights. This is the AG in Massachusetts. And let's, let's stop for a second and think about this. Because every time you hear these polls, right? You hear these polls, uh, you know, 9 out of 10 Americans want X. Or the majority of people said they want this. And when they say the majority of people polled, answered a certain question a certain way, that's fine. But when they try to say that's indicative of the United States of America, I don't really buy that. For example... Where you poll has a great deal of impact on what your answers will be. Case in point, uh, earlier this year, I was like, hey, where can I go and meet some Bernie Sanders supporters? So I went to the University of Texas and I did a man on the street and lo and behold, I ran into a whole bunch of Bernie Sanders supporters. But I knew that Bernie Sanders was very popular with college kids. College kids are at the University of Texas, so let's go talk to the college kids and see who likes Bernie Sanders. <laughs> exactly my point. If you go to a very conservative steakhouse back in the sticks somewhere, you may find some guys who love Trump. If you go to the, to the gun show, uh, you're going to find guys who are supportive of the Second Amendment. If you go to the you know, uh, anti-moms-hate-everything you know moms hate everything rallies, you're going to find people who don't want guns. So your polling position, your polling location, has a lot to do with the effects of your poll. So I never really believe these people when they say Americans want this and Americans want that. I'm like, no, the people that you asked, if you didn't ask them a leading question, answered because you asked them uh, a certain demographic. But all that to say this, when they say everybody wants to ban your guns or everybody wants to uh, get rid of the uh, quote assault weapons or uh, these military style weapons. I don't believe that because right here we have a case in point. This is the Massachusetts Attorney General. She came cracking down on the semi-automatic rifles and they sold a whopping 2,549 rifles in a single day. To put that in perspective, on a normal day in, uh, in Massachusetts State, they may sell 132 like they did on Tuesday or 51 rifles like they did on Monday. But the day the attorney general came out and said she wants to crack down, they sold 2,549 rifles with about eight hours notice. And they say that uh, she was trying to ban the quote copycat rifles that she felt violated the spirit of the 1998 Massachusetts assault weapons ban. But the problem is that Healy, the AG, inadvertently boosted sales of the very rifle she intended to prohibit as a rush on gun stores ensued. So this is what you have to remember. Every time you get, see Obama or you see Feinstein or you see uh, Hillary or anybody else, I want to ban AR-15s. People go out and buy the AR-15. I want to ban AK-47s. People want to go out and buy AK-47s. I want to have background checks to get ammo. People go out and buy ammo. And it's not that all these people are planning a mass shooting. They just understand that the government can't be there to protect you all the time. I love that, um, that interview. What's the guy's name? Kurt Russell, the cowboy. He plays all those, those cowboys. And he's talking to the guy. And he's like, and the guy's like, man, we need to ban these guns. He's like, why do you want to ban guns? He's like, well, we have all these shootings. He's like, yeah, in countries where they have stricter gun control laws, uh, people make suicide bombs. Or they attack people with axes on trains. Or they get in a big semi truck and they drive on the sidewalk and they run over 200 people. So it's not the firearm doing these things. It's the personal mentality. You can take away the guns and people are just going to drive trucks on the street. Hell, they do it here, and we have uh, plenty of guns here. They did it right here in the city of Austin, Texas. I went to the uh, press conference the next day myself, South by Southwest, uh, but I understand it was an individual who did these things. It didn't matter what weapon he had. If you have the ill intent, you're going to act on that ill intent regardless of uh, the, the weapon that you may be carrying. Now let's talk about something else. Now, when I speak about this next story, it's not so much that I 
love and care about Fox News. I'm not defending uh, Roger Ailes. I'm not uh, backing up the story of the uh, the accusers because I don't really know. I don't work at Fox News. I have no desire to work at Fox News. But as we see, uh, Roger Ailes, he has resigned as the CEO of Fox News. And really, this is a, a testament to the changing media, how the media landscape is going to continue uh, to become something that's not this central, located uh, mainstream media as we know it today. It says the founder and chief executive officer at Fox News has resigned from his position under fire, but he will remain with the company until 2018 as a consultant. And the resignation marks a sudden and swift end of a 20-year reign of one of the media's most powerful moguls, a man who micromanaged talent acquisition at Fox, shaped its conservative viewpoint, and turned it into a ratings giant. And like I said, he did this because of uh, allegations of sexual mis misconduct. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. That's not the point I'm making here. I'm saying is the media is changing. And I was reading uh, Noam Chomsky's book last night. I believe it's called Media Manipulation. I was flipping through it. And he was talking about the way the media controls you and how they manipulate you, how they put the propaganda out there. And a great example of this, and this is long before Ailes, so I'm just tying it all together. Uh, the phrase support our troops, right? You have this phrase, you just put it on the bumper stickers and you say it at the football games and at the, at the soccer games, the basketball games, you have the, the commercials and all this stuff, support our troops, support our troops. And then people get it in their mind that, hey, my dad is a troop or my neighbor or my friend I went to high school with is a troop, so I want to support the troops, and I support the troops. I just don't support every single order that they're given, and that's how they they uh, put this thing together, right? They try to make it where you can't separate the troops from the orders that they're given. They're one and the same, so you have to support the troops, so you have to support every order that they're given. You have to support the troops when they, uh, they use a drone to blow up a wedding party. You have to support the troops, or they use a jet to blow up a hospital overseas. You have to support the troops, or you have to support the, the feds when they give guns to Mexican drug cartels, or you have to support the guys who airdrop grenades and rocket launchers to ISIS, they're, they're, they're one and the same now. So you have this mixed up, blended thing that cannot be separated, and that's how they continue to push through these agendas with their media manipulation, doing things like that. He goes way more in depth, but I think that's a great example, and I actually would recommend that book to a lot of people who are interested in getting into media so they can understand truly how the media operates. And now I bring you some very unfortunate news. It's another day and unfortunately a, another terror attack. And we have a manhunt in Munich after a shooting kills at least eight. A shooting at a shopping mall in Munich has left at least eight people dead and multiple people injured, the Munich police say. Police said that based on witness testimony, they were acting on the assumption that there were at least three attackers. They say they're describing it as an active shooting scene, and it's not clear what motivated the attack. And of course, uh, when you don't know who your shooters are, you don't know what their motivation is. Uh, it's a very scary thing, especially when you think about, uh, you know, you just go to a shopping mall, you're trying to live a, a normal, everyday life, and then you have to deal with stuff there or any place you go. You go to school any place else. But also, uh, this follows the not-so-recent axe attack that we saw earlier this week. You know, some guy was on the train, he had his ax, he had a knife, you know, he's fighting with people, you know, he chopped people up, eventually the cops caught him and shot him. But uh, man, it's, it's just getting to the point where this is not just here in the US, because they always want to talk about here in the US. And of course we have our issues here, but you also have things going on in France and in uh, Istanbul or in Germany, as we see in the case here, and we'll bring you more information as it becomes available. And finally tonight, talking about Mrs. Clinton. Now, if you don't like Mrs. Clinton, you don't want to see Hillary for president, you may say you want to see Hillary for prison, and that's exactly what you can participate in if you go to Florida National University tomorrow, and the hours are from 12 to 2. There's gonna be flying around the Hillary for prison banners, and just let her know uh, that she needs to be in prison. Also, I think there's still the, uh, the bounty to call it out. If you can get Hillary to autograph your shirt, Myself and Rob Dew will both send you $100 each. So uh, go out there, go forth, and prosper. That's it for this segment. Stay tuned after this break for more special reports. Hillary for prison shirts are $19.95. We've been selling them as low as $5 because I want to get tens of thousands of them out there. There's like 80,000 of them now out there or something. They're all over the country. It's one of the top memes in the nation. But at $19.95, we can take all the proceeds and pay for aircraft in the skies. You've seen that be national news. You've seen that be the top meme in the country. It's amazing. We're leading the way on how to resist. We're ragtag. We're cross-eyed and exhausted half the time. But we've got the passion. We're going over the top. Infowarsstore.com is the umbrella site. 
I'm selling at 1995 to pay for the banners, to pay for the 18 wheelers with the big signs, to pay for the Jumbotron videos. And it's really paying off. Hundreds of newspapers, TV, Hillary for President. Uh, you cannot, but 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 the, all the shirts, we sell all the ones we have, it's like 60 grand. So, but we got more being printed right now. Everybody's got to go buy a Hillary for President shirt for 1995. Uh, show that InfoWars doesn't get on the whole because I want to really go crazy with airplanes at the DNC. We're looking at blimps as well. We're not going to be censored. InfoWarsStore.com. Get your Hillary for President shirts today look in the last eight months how far that memes come in one block that i walked just a minute ago i saw 15 of those shirts just in one block the <laughs> drive here from my spot where i'm staying 30 40 tons of them they're every single way <laughs> the rally yesterday almost everyone in the crowd had on a hillary for prison t-shirt it is amazing and it's everyone stops and they go, what does that shirt mean? Why? Why Why does she need to go to prison? And it allows us to engage in a conversation and teach these people who have no clue about who Killer Eat really is, about all the things she's been involved yeah, and in. And we're not laying down to that witch. She's not She's not going to buffalo us. We're not coward. We're not broke back. We're taking action. What about you? Get your Hillary for prison shirt. I know you already have one. Buy another one. Give it to friends and family. I'm telling you, the war is now. The war is an info war. We're going to win. It's now been duplicated by countless groups, and I think that's wonderful. Imitation is the greatest form of flattery. And now it's all over CNN, it's all over Fox, it's all over the Trump rallies, the Hillary rallies, the number one search term for a week straight last week and, and still continuing one of the top search terms is, is Hillary going to jail? This has been incredibly successful because it shows despite corporate control and despite them trying to control the meme, we've had three versions of the Hillary for prison shirt. All of them have been collector's edition and have helped fund the info war. We now have a third edition in. The second edition sold out. It's the same as the last, but on the right shoulder says Infowars.com. On the back, it says Infowars.com, legalize freedom. Be part of history. Be part of supporting the Infowar. Be part of meeting like-minded friends and family. Get your Hillary for prison 2016 third wave shirts at Infowarsstore.com. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139.